This is going to be a great matchup here. That's right, Uriah Faber and Evan Kaneshiro. 145 pounds. This is for the title. Three five-minute rounds. I'm sure they're prepared as we are. King of the Cage, Revenge, presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. Here we go. Uriah Faber looking to end this quick. Huge right hand he threw. And he just flung his opponent across the ring, Evan Kaneshiro. Now, like I said before, of all the different sports you can be involved in, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, martial arts, wrestling is the one that I think lends itself to an easy adaptation to um, mixed martial arts fights like these. Well, you're right, Faber, on top. Looking to possibly pass the guard. He's in the half guard of Kaneshiro. And even though he's a wrestler, I'm sure he'd like to finish the fight on his feet with the strikes. He has very, very heavy hands. He doesn't throw a lot of punches, but he makes the ones he throws count. Talking to me with the butterfly guard there, and trying to control the wrists. Kaneshiro back across the ring again. Trying to pass those legs and get down there where he can reach them. I'm very impressed with Kaneshiro. He's a very experienced fighter also. I don't see him doing any, he's not panicking. Or he, he's really uh, taking his time to counter everything that uh, Faber's doing. And you know yourself, it, it, it looks like he's in a disadvantage position as the things can change so quickly. Yeah, Kaneshiro definitely has the experience get a submission from his back or reverse position and be on the dominating side of the fight. Well, Uriah Faber is going to be definitely a tough man to, to get off balance with his wrestling back then. If he makes a mistake, I think it's going to be staying his arms because he's really shooting for some punches in there, but uh, you don't want your arm to get locked out. Uriah Faber is looking for that opportunity to make something happen. Kaneshiro remaining very calm, though, doing a good job. Eating a lot of punches with for his efforts. Thanks to Uriah Faber. Uriah continues with his right hands. Hammer strikes, regular punches. And you're right, does have a good submission defense. I saw it in his last fight here in King of the Cage. And we're seeing it right now. He's very calm on his back. Uh, it looks like he's very comfortable fighting from that position. Uriah still in the dominant position, non-stop. He is relentless in his attack. But kind of sure in that reversing position, look at that. Can't believe I'm seeing it, but now Faber going for the Kimura lock. Wow, getting right back up. Look at Faber's wrestling. Good knee to the head. Kaneshiro delivering a nice right knee to Faber. Faber going for that single leg strip. Oh, oh good right hand. Right hand. Good shot. And Kaneshiro stumbling. I'm sure he's a little foggy. He's on his back. He is, but... Uh, you know, you're, when you get stunned, it seems you're safer if you can get to the ground and you get a couple of seconds of rest before you get hit again. That's right. In boxing and kickboxing, you're stunned because you got to stay on your feet and you get hit with another one, you're out. Kaneshiro now taking some damage from Uriah Faber, who's known to damage his opponents, both in King of the Cage and in Gladiator Challenge. Faber. 30 seconds left and a lot of action in this so far. Punching. Powerful punches. Downs. Oh, solid right hand. Oh, another one. Kind of 
Shearer is actually doing some damage with strikes on his back. You see Faber when he punches, though, he's turning his waist, his hips, he's using his whole body when he punches from the top. And he's really doing some damage to Connor Shearer. He's trying to get his guard up high with less than 10 seconds in the round. We're going to head to round two here at King of the Cage. I almost forgot why they were walking around the ring. Okay. Connor Shearer throwing a good overhand right. Getting the double underhooks. Trying to take down Faber. Faber, great defense though. Great action. Hey, that Faber just strength moves things. I mean, that was just pure stupidity right over his head. Dynamic action here with these two fighters. Faber looks like one of the fighters who fights with a lot of aggression and anger in there. Really trying to take it to his opponent. Is there any other way to fight? <laughs> well, you as well as anyone knows. It. A lot of fighters aren't in there to kill their opponent. They're very relaxed and uh, go in there and try to stay calm and just make something happen. I mean, they would kill them if they have to put the rug pull out from under them. I, I'm not going to cry about it. Good <laughs> work, guys. Referee Herb Dean, no stranger to the sport of mixed martial arts himself, actually been in there as a fighter and a referee. Letting the fighters know to keep the action up or he will stand them back up as the right favor works inside the guard of Evan Kanashiro. To keep the action going in the sport, yeah, you've got to either be improving your position or at least attempting to constantly because if you just sit there and relax, he breaks you just like that. You've got to be either trying to improve it or uh, doing at least some damage, striking damage. Now, I don't really know who this is an advantage for because both these fighters have shown they can strike. Big overhand right there for Uriah Faber. And I told you, he throws heavy hands every time. Yeah, that was a nice short little right hand. It wasn't a clean punch, but he throws a lot of power and moves his opponent one way or the other. It looks like Kamashiro kind of is so comfortable on his back that he actually lays on his back and draws Faber in. Side now, now for Uriah Faber. Now, if you're having kind of sure, you want to either reverse the position and get up, or get Uriah Faber into your guard, which is in between your legs, where you can wrap your legs around his waist or his, his upper body and try to control him. Faber with the wizard right there, trying to control that arm. The thing about Faber is he puts the pressure on, it never releases it. I mean, he's either trying to punch you, trying to take you down, trying to kick you. He's just constantly, there's no resting with him. Yeah, he is definitely relentless in his attack. Going two nice left hands. To the face of Kamashiro. See, he, he could easily back up if he didn't want to be in this position, but he just keeps the pressure on. Got to be careful, though. Uh, Kanashiro momentarily had a triangle. Yeah, they were backing yeah, out and turning the shoulder over. I think he better get, yeah, he better get out of there. However, now he could get he, caught. Yeah, he better get his hand out of there, too. Yeah, he's in danger of an omoplata from that position. He got out, though. But that's the kind of thing he could do is make a mistake sometimes being so aggressive. Because Kanashiro definitely does not mind letting him be aggressive and then trying to get him in something. Kanashiro doing a good job. He's making the fight exciting. He's constantly searching for a submission. He went from a triangle choke to an omoplata. Now he's trying to get a knee bar. He's rolling and looking for ways to finish the fight, which is great for the sport of mixed martial arts. Absolutely. I mean, I, just, I saw Frank Shamrock fall on his back and submit a uh, Olympic wrestler. Might have it. He might have the knee bar or a heel hook. Uriah Faber yeah. doesn't look like this is any fun. No. Oh. Oh, oh he pulled it right. You know, he could just muscle himself out of these things. Uriah Faber pulled his leg out, spun around at the same time with a spinning back fist on the ground. Nice fancy move. Nice strike. I've never seen a spinning back fist on the ground. The strike didn't land, but still a great attempt, nonetheless. Good work. 
Great back and forth action at, at this time. I'd have to say Uriah Faber is definitely controlling the fight. But Kanashiro is more than game on his back. Oh, he's, uh, Faber's had a couple of close calls. But he's dominating. He's winning. Uh, uh. I'm actually surprised to see her being standing up at this point. Uh. They were staying pretty busy, actually. Favor going after him, though, really just attacking. He likes to throw that lead kick to set it up. He does not let up. He's relentless. Both the fighters landing right hands. There. The time, two more. Really slugging it out here at the end of the second round. Here we go. Back to the third round. Ryan Favor. I think Kenneth Shiro. 145 pound title here in King of the Cage. See, he comes right back with the knee. Yeah, not much behind that knee, though. Faber, I think, saw Kenneshira moving, so he didn't really put too much up anymore. Kenneshira throwing a punch as Faber drops out for that double leg. He pulls one leg out now. He's going to sit him down right here, I would have to imagine. Oh, huge slam from the right Faber, the wrestler. That looked like it was the WWF, that's a championship wrestler. But it was effective. That's real American wrestling right there. Whether that really had much of an effect on Tanner Shiro as far as injury or knocking him out, probably didn't, but I guarantee it took tons of energy out of him. Tanner Shiro now still holding that guard closed. Controlling, look at that, controlling both the arms of Uriah Faber. And what can Faber do from there? Not too much. Herb Dean might have to stand him up once again. Well, he can throw some short little elbows in there. Faber still on top, but having a tough time getting those strikes off, Don, isn't he? Uh, Tom sure is very good defensively in there. Plus, he's got the ability to counter you when you try to overextend a punch and you straighten your arm out, you'd be in trouble. Faber has a problem getting around the legs and knees of Evan Kenshiro. He has a great guard. Phenomenal. Herb Dean possibly going to stand him up here. Well, it's not for lack of trying. They're both trying to fight, but the defense of both fighters is so good that uh, they're basically stymie each other. Look how high the guard is. Evan Kaneshiro brings it really, really high and holds down your right favor. Look at that. Out to his knees. Now Kaneshiro pulling guard once again. I thought he possibly could have got up there momentarily. Kanashiro with the half guard on Uriah, looking to possibly switch his hips and get up on, on his feet, but now he's in a bad spot. Sports, welterweights, junior middleweights. I mean, they've got the power to be excited, but they've got the speed, the coordination uh, that the smaller five weight classes generally have. So, uh, they're very technically great fights to watch. Oh, 
see Uriah's got something up his sleeve with his stance right there. Throwing big strikes, these two guys. Herb Dean, like I said, didn't like what he saw on the ground. He stood him back up. And once again, they're back in the same position with Uriah Faber on top. Now he's almost in a north-south position. Clean break. Stop time. One minute. Stop time. Stop time. Herb Dean stopping time. I don't know if they have a cut. I think they're going to look at something. Concerned about some blood from the ear of Evan Kaneshiro, possibly from cauliflower ear. You have a lot of swelling inside your ear, and you get hit in there, it splits open. The skin just can't stretch any more than it already is. It's something we've all had to go through. I've done it myself, as you can tell, with my beautiful ears done. Boxers get it too. Nature of the business. Herb Dean doing a good job, though, returning the fighters to their position when he stopped the fight. Delivering some big strikes there to Evan now. Will he capitalize this time, though? That's the question. He's coming in with big strikes. Evan Kanashiro still, look at that guard. Turning, keeps on twisting those hips. He's, he's a, a great guard. He's a master than Kanashiro. Now you see they're over the hit master right now. If somebody gets to a knockout, they get a free hit master. Well, Kanashiro tapped out. 